everyone, it's Peak. Welcome back to the channel today and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video here on the channel. Super excited to show you some uh, interesting gameplay here. We of course have two speedsters on our team, not something you'd typically see in uh, this game, but we're actually going to be laning as Greninja because of course with two speedsters on the team, you kind of kind of going to have to have one of them at least go uh, <laughs> go to the jungle. So I won't be jungling for this game. We will be in lane with Water Shuriken and kind of just showcasing the strength of that and, of course, why I think it's such a good move, uh, which you guys will see. Uh, I think we get the last hit there. No, we actually don't, so that's unfortunate. But, you know, it's hard to get the last hit against a uh, Lucario. I will just barely be able to squeeze out of there. Of course, I'm not running Focus Band anymore, as I think a lot of you probably know, um, so not really able to clutch out those instances of, of that kind of thing happening. But interestingly enough, this Lucario is not running score shield. So uh, he will get his focus band proc for me attacking him as well as the heals from a goal, but we'll easily take him down. Um, but yeah, it's, I think this gameplay is pretty fun. I kind of just wanted to talk about it um, kind of in the background and just talk about like hashtag state of the game. You guys know I say that all the time, and but like kind of where do I think Pokemon Unite is right now? What things need looking at um and stuff like that you know so um as you're watching this i'm just going to kind of talk about it and what i think kind of needs fixing what i think needs to be looked at and stuff like that i really and just to kind of get the conversation rolling there i really i've talked about this before i think we just kind of need like more pokemon there's zero diversity in the game right now like greninja is almost a given on every team lucario is almost a given on every team and Wigglytuff's a given on like almost every team. You'll see like these characters, and they're just like they're so they're so potent in what they do that it just ends up being like <laughs> it ends up feeling like you're at a disadvantage if you're not playing these characters, which is really unfortunate. Um, because you know it doesn't really allow for as much variety and gameplay and kind of like exciting matchups and stuff like that that you would normally expect from like a MOBA. Um, and obviously, like in every MOBA, there's always like meta picks and stuff like that, but never is there really instances where it's really just like three or four picks that are just really strong and every other like pick in a MOBA is like feels unimpactful, right? So I guess the point is my, my very first point, and this is just, obviously this is growing pains for a new game, but really this game needs more characters. It just, it really does. It needs more characters. It needs more Pokemon in the game. And when that happens, then we have, then we start getting like the diversity and skill sets, diversity and Pokemon kits and stuff like that. I really, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this game grows. There's a reason why I really just want to focus on this game um, and why I do have a lot of confidence in Teamy and the Pokemon company to, to get it to a point where it's in a good space, right? Cause right now I, I don't, I don't think it's in like a very good space, like from a competitive standpoint, it's really just the game isn't too balanced and you know that comes from a lot of things but i think one of the biggest issues is that there's just not enough characters yet which is okay like that's gonna happen of course but i really hope to see a lot of new characters coming um just a little bit faster i mean obviously sylveon and mamoswine were both announced so we know they're coming right but we don't know how soon um i'm hoping that with the mobile release though oh it's a nice little a little lucky auto attack there um i'm hoping with the mobile release soon that we will actually be seeing i think my double team messed up there that we will be seeing more characters um a lot faster because i think a lot of what's been holding the devs back in general is just like preparing for the mobile release because obviously that takes a lot to get ready right they have to work with not only one app store but two app stores both the apple and the android one and it just takes a lot for them to get to that point right so it makes sense that they're kind of like maybe not releasing characters as quickly as we'd like to see it from a brand new MOBA. Um, but I think it will honestly start ramping up when we when we see the MOBA release um, drop. Because then like they can just like full on go development on skins and characters and just like generally balancing the game. And I think at that point we're probably going to see some different like maybe even gameplay changes to like how the game is played. Maybe the time length, the structure and stuff like that. I think those things are coming eventually, um, but obviously they have like way bigger fish to fry with the mobile release coming up soon. And I don't know. I'm just really interested to see like how this game progresses as time goes on because it 
the potential is there as i said like the potential for this to be a very very strong um niche in the moba scene like there's really not that many games out there that are mobas that play like this that are based on you know kind of like scoring goals points and stuff like that really most of your mobas are like your classic like kill the tower kill the minions out from the enemy etc etc so pokemon unite is really unique in that sense that it brings it brings to life this very unique mechanic that we've never really seen before from mobas um obviously you know you may have seen stuff like this from like dominion league of legends people talk about it a lot um i personally never played it a little sidestep action with shadow ball there nice um but yeah so it's pretty new is what i'm trying to say it's pretty it's pretty like it's pretty novel it's pretty niche like it fits a it fits a role it fits a game style that like not really that many games fit um and that's what draws it, it what draws me to the game too right is that it just has this it's such a unique play style the scoring is really like i think it's a very interesting concept i think it's executed poorly in um in the way the game is right now um that's like that's an issue right but i think I, the potential is 100 there and i'm super excited to kind of see like what happens with it in the future because they just they just need to put a little more tlc into it and i think i think it's there honestly like the structure is very nice it's just it lacks the backbone right now quite frankly it lacks the backbone of a bunch of characters a bigger roster more time to kind of get the balance correct because i really just don't think they've nailed the balance whatsoever um for almost all characters there's just like there's just a there's just an imbalance generally across the board so there are things that they i think are still learning to do as like a team and stuff for this game in particular because it's so unique um i can't remember what happens here i'm curious oh he's following me all the way down oh yeah that's right i was trying to recall oops uh, i probably should have just kept running i would have gone away but i knew they were over there too so whatever anyway um i think like you know it's a new game for them like Teamy is experienced in building a MOBA, but there's a lot of criteria, of course, that the Pokemon company have that they have to address and stuff like that, that really kind of like makes it so this really is a newer space for them. I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I think, I think again, like it just, it isn't quite matured enough yet to, to be taken seriously as a competitive game. I think, um, I, is there the potential for that to happen in the future? hundred percent. I totally think so. Um, I totally think they can get the game to that state because they've shown like how impressively balanced and competitive Honor of Kings is um, in China. Like it is literally the most popular game in China. Everyone plays like almost everyone there plays it. It's 100 million daily active users. I think they, they actually set like a record during and of course this is during too. So of course a lot of people were in. Um, so I'm pr probably pretty sure they don't pull those types of numbers now. But uh, you know. I think in general, it's just, it's just like, they just need to grow out of these growing pains, right? They need to get to the point where they're able to kind of take more freedom and balancing, creating these like crazy Pokemon sets that nobody would have ever imagined would be in this game and just provide like a very, a very novel and a very entertaining experience for like anyone who's playing those characters, right? Or even the older characters, like every character should have its place. It's just we need like more character diversity, I think. So that's kind of my spiel. Let's talk about this last like one minute twenty in the game. Um, before I do that, let me just say like if you guys have any opinions on the subject, I would love to hear them in the comments. Um, I love kind of seeing what you guys say on the different videos and what your thoughts are and like kind of where the game's at right now. Um, and yeah, so let me know for sure. <laughs> the Greninja on the enemy team is just like free casting in the back. Meanwhile, we're killing their whole team. That's pretty funny. Uh, interesting, interesting thing about Water Shuriken that you saw there is that if you are getting hit from a surf like this way, right, you can actually, um, <laughs> you can actually, uh, you can actually Water Shuriken, and Water Shuriken still go off while you're CC'd. So the fun thing about that is that you can still like use your Water Shuriken and damage Blastoise as it's surfing, like surfing you away, right? So kind of a little fun thing to note there that you can do yeah super fun game uh water jurgen is very strong counter against like blastoise surf and a lot of other stuff obviously but 
really enjoy the set. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think about like kind of where the game stands right now competitively and what, uh, what, what your guys' thoughts are. Because again, I'd love to hear it. Would love to kind of just chat with you guys in the comments. So definitely look for your boy there. And uh, I'll, I'll chat with you, reply to you there. And we can kind of get a conversation going. Because I'd like to talk more about this in the future just to like kind of start floating ideas for like ways that the game could improve because i think when we start talking about those things is when like the game can really um start improving obviously we want to be um we want to be fair in our critiques we don't want to be toxic about it and say like the game is trash or whatever it's just uh it's just something that i think needs to like discourse needs to start happening about it and you know what better way to do that than here on the youtube channel with you guys so Again, let me know. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. Join the Discord. That's about it. Not gonna, not gonna waste any more of your guys' time. Appreciate you guys watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.